Everyone I know loves fajitas, let's face it. They are so delicious. Grilled meat served with flour tortillas, lots of fixins. They are to die for. I'm actually gonna make beef and chicken fajitas. And the first thing I need to do is make a really delicious marinade so the meat will be extra flavorful. This stuff is good. Olive oil first, then Worcestershire sauce, nice and savory. Lime juice, minced garlic, some cumin for great flavor, and for heat, chili powder. Four tablespoons. I'm not messing around here. Then red pepper flakes, salt, a little pepper, a good tablespoon of sugar, and then it's time to let the blender do the work. Okay, oh, the marinade looks fantastic. Now, I've got some boneless, skinless chicken breasts in one bag, and I'll pour half the marinade in. And then I have some delicious skirt steak in the other bag. Skirt steak is my favorite kind of meat to use for fajitas. It's so delicious, it has great fat marbled throughout. This marinade just needs to barely coat the meat to marinate it. You don't need the meat to submerge in it. Okay, I'll just move the chicken around. I want that marinade to completely coat every single piece. And I'll do the same with the skirt steak. Now, just before the guys show up, I'm gonna throw all this meat on the grill. It's gonna be divine. Okay, the meat's all coated. Now I'm gonna get it into the fridge. All right, I've got this glorious meat that's been marinating and I'm gonna get it on the grill. I'll start with the chicken because it's gonna take a little bit longer. All of this marinated meat is gonna make the most delicious fajitas. Oh, I love fajitas for a crowd. It really is the perfect dish. All right, just a couple more. Woo, this grill's hot. <laughs> it's gonna take the chicken about four minutes per side. I'll keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't get too dark. And then I'll wait to throw the beef on a little bit later. All right, now I've got a bunch of flour tortillas and I'll serve those with the fajitas. I wrapped them in foil and I'm just gonna put them on a less hot part of the grill and those will warm slowly. The tortillas are just some of the fixins I'm gonna serve with the fajitas. I like to serve a big bowl of grated cheese, big bowl of sour cream, that's my favorite I think, and then of course a big bowl of pico de gallo. Pico de gallo is always in my fridge and it goes with just about everything. And then I also serve jarred salsa because it's just a slightly different flavor. The kids really like it. And then some shredded green leaf lettuce. I just slice it really thin with a sharp knife. Then they can sort of make fajita tacos. And then of course, to squeeze over the top, a dish of lime wedges. Okay, it's got great color on the outside. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the beef on. It is gonna be gorgeous. Now, the beef doesn't take quite as long to cook as the chicken. I like to just throw it on, wait about a minute, and then flip it over. There we go. Big old slab of meat. There is nothing prettier than that. Second piece. Skirt steak is really, really thin, so really just about a minute and a half per side should cut it. I'll just let the beef cook, then I'll flip it over, and I'll just keep moving forward with lunch. All right, now to go with the whole fajita spread, I'm gonna make some delicious veggies. I've got some sliced onions and seeded and sliced bell peppers, all different colors. I just drizzled them with olive oil, sprinkled them with salt and pepper, and I've got this really awesome grill pan, and I'm just gonna throw the vegetables on there. The grill pan is nice and hot, so it's gonna start cooking them immediately. This is my favorite way to cook veggies on the grill. It keeps them contained, but you still get that great grill flavor. All right, I'm just gonna let the veggies cook, and then I'll head inside and pull this whole meal together. The chicken looks fantastic. It's still nice and juicy, but it's done. The outside is just coated in wonderful color. It looks fantastic. It's your kind of Me meal, too. isn't it, Dad? You want some hot sauce, Tim? It's good. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just... That hit the spot. 